Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and him running for president in 2020. So, um, so basically, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been asked for a little while now, probably about two or three months, if he would run for president. And he has said that he is considering it, right? This very weekend, he went on uh, Saturday Night Live, and his monologue was all about him running for president with Tom Hanks, right? It was very funny. It was very quippy. and uh, But the reality is, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is not a joke when it comes to anything he does. And I absolutely believe he will be uh, running for president. Also, on my Facebook page, uh, if you go back, you will see a prediction months and months ago about me saying, before, before the 2016 election, saying that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would run for 2020. Okay? Um, and the reason why is... The, um, basically, one of the things that the 2016 election did was it stated unequivocally uh, from the American people that political um, expertise, being a, uh, being having a discipline, having uh, you know spent your life working in politics, is no longer considered to be a good thing generally by the American people, or or it certainly be considered that way to be a minority of the American people that actually think expertise in politics is a needed asset. Now, I'm going to say something. I actually think I've come to believe that that's absolutely true. And this is ironic because I my I have two I have two college degrees. I have a I have a regular high school degree from Chichester High School in Pennsylvania. I have a a bachelor's of political science from uh, from Millersville University. And I have a master's in technology management from uh, University of Phoenix. By the way, I'm extremely proud of my University of Phoenix master's. Um, I did not go to an online school. Uh, I went to the Balakinwood, um, the Balakinwood campus, and it was a great school. And if you're out there and you need a, a, another degree or any degree, I have great pride in my University of Phoenix. Uh, um, you know, the fact that I'm alumni there, it is a great school. It taught me a lot to this. And, and I will tell you too, if you get a master's degree, uh, it will definitely pay off. It is totally worth it. Right. So sorry for that uh, digression there, but, um, even holding a degree in political science, I have come to believe that especially for the presidency. And I think even for the Senate or any of those things, what you really need is you need leadership, right? The expertise that is needed to lead, right? The knowledge that is uh, deep ingrained in knowing the the minor functions or even and even the major functions of politics, all of that is going to be readily available to any true leader through his people. And a leader knows how to get information from his people, who to trust, who not to trust. And so, if you don't have the political expertise you need within the politician himself, then at that point, you uh, that leader can get it from those around him. And the structure we have currently in America, there's lots of uh, scholarly people, lots of people with degrees. And so the structure absolutely allows for someone who's charismatic, someone who's intelligent, someone who's hardworking. I would say someone of character, someone of character. That's really critical. Um, And so with all that said, I, I definitely have come around to this idea that you don't need somebody with a political science degree and that really a lot of time in, in, in Washington is not a great idea. Get somebody who's been a success in the real world and bring them in. So with that said, I, as it stands right now, I am 100% in support of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's run for presidency. And as it stands now, he would have my vote in 2020. Okay. However, Here's the trick. And actually, I am super excited. I'm so excited about Dwayne The Rock Johnson saying that he is considering running for um, for presidency. Now, I will say this. I, I have a lot of pity and sympathy for many, many people out there. And the reason why is I know what's about to happen. The The race for the presidency has just begun. Uh, the uh, um, And actually, what's ironic is I really think that Dwayne The Rock Johnson's monologue on Saturday Night Live with Tom Hanks is kicking off the new season, the new political season, the new campaigning for 2020 president, which is amazing. Because one, 
I look at the run-up to the election the way most people look at sports. So I love it. I, I can't get enough of it. I like the scrum and like all the, you know, the back and forth and the, you know, all of it. I love it. It's like sports for me, right? But what's interesting is if we're dealing with the, you know, with the rock opening up the political candidacy now, you essentially have four years of campaigning, which is, and I get that actually, because I don't see that as a problem. And the reality is this is America, right? When, when you talk about the president, he is the president of America and it is not wrong to say he is the leader of the free world. Why shouldn't there be four years spent going, you know, full out to win that thing, right? So right now, one of the things that we have is, who knows what The Rock stands for economically? Who knows what the, where The Rock stands on social issues? And the reality is, I think rock, The Rock is going to have to start determining that on his own and determining where he's at. Now, the reason why I like The Rock is I've seen him in a lot of movies. I think he's, uh, he's incredibly charismatic, uh, and I think he's smart, right? And he's an American. So, uh, you know, through and through. And... Um, and honestly, the other thing is, I honestly believe we don't, we don't export steel anymore, but we export cool like crazy. Cool and style and entertainment are the exports of America now, right? So Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a man who fully understands the major export of our country, right? That's what America is now. We are the cool kid on the block. Everybody wants to be next to us. We, you know, everybody wants to be us. We, you know, there are... An American visa is the most valuable visa in the world, without a doubt, right? And, you know, and so I think Dwayne, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson kind of, he is a good man to capture all that. And I see him as a rally point. I could see incredibly skilled experts surrounding him. I could see that he'd be smart enough to get what he needs from them. And I think he will be a good, I think he could be a good president if he has the right stands on the right issues. And so he's going to have to determine what his platforms are, okay? And he's going to have to communicate those, right? And that's going to be tricky. It's going to be very, very tricky. So one of the things that's different is I pray for all the presidents of the United States of America. I have prayed, you know, during my lifetime, I prayed for Jimmy Carson. I prayed for Ronald Reagan. I prayed for both Bushes, I prayed for President Clinton, and I prayed for Obama. And starting today, I will be praying for Dwayne The Rock Johnson that he will have wisdom and that he will be protected and that the nation would be would excel and prosper under his leadership. I think he's a great candidate. I am super excited that the race for 2020 starts today. Football season is in, people. Super excited about that. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be real interesting. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs>